Good morning, good morning. January 26, 2024. Just did a pre-meditation. Welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking today? Remember, this is about your intuition as well as mine. You will see things in the cards that I do not see. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is a collective reading for the energies of today. Swords. Seven of Swords. The Chariot. Two of Wands. And the Three of Cups. seeing here it starts out really dramatic uh, cloudy and dark and it moves into this more colorful energy of freedom being on top of the world feeling good we have the full moon here. We just had our full moon. The wolf full moon. So in the past here, I'm seeing a lot of in your head. There's confusion. There's feeling of being stuck. You're trapped inside of these swords. And you're manifesting something. You're just standing still. You are tied up, but you don't look like you're struggling. You know that you're tied up, that you can't do anything about it. You just have to let it happen. So you're dreaming about this manifestation. About battles. You know, when you go to war, you usually have a sword or a gun. Nowadays it's more guns than it is swords, but fighting that battle. You're presently breaking ground. Clouds seem to be kind of opening up a little bit. Where the light is trying to peek in. And as you have all these birds, crows maybe, almost more like an eagle. They're bringing messages, guiding you on your journey. Seven is opening up to your spirituality. You're tearing open these wounds, tearing open the ground, planting your seeds, getting rid of old beliefs, getting a little bit of help over here. Or maybe not. Maybe it's stealing your swords. Looks like it's dropping it off. It might be stealing it. 
kind of in this in between area. But you're confident. You're not. No, you're no longer blindfolded. You have your own wings. You can fly away at any time. Maybe you're you're digging up treasure. You're digging up these swords out of these wounds. Swords are your mind. Air taking flight, freeing yourself. And in the future, we have fast movement. Cancer card. I'm a cancer, so I'm always going to see the cancer card popping out. Uh, they resonate with me. <clears throat> and this one, she is very victorious. She is confident. She has her balance on this floating chariot cart. Her horses are determined. This one's looking at you. Looking straight at you. Looking you in the eye. Daring you. Come on. Let's get going. Let's get moving. Time for action. If you, you've thought about it for a really long time. It's time to take action. Move forward. Come into the light. Get out of those clouds. Become an eagle. Now, what you don't know, things that you need to know need to be brought up to your attention. Is this confidence? This taming of the beast. The world is in your hands. You're ultimately protected with this amethyst. You have two amethyst wands. Duality. Although you don't have another human here, you have your dragon. Dragons breathe fire. This could be either a sunset or a sunrise. The wands are the fastest moving. Within two days, you're going to start moving. Quick movement. In two days. But what you don't see is what's on the other side of those mountains. Those pinnacles. That's where you're going to go, though. That's, that's your destination. That's your path. The path unknown. You go anywhere you want. And your advice is the Three of Cups. Have community. Maybe this is just a sisterhood. It could just be friends in general. Regardless of the sex. This is having ceremony, celebration, contemplation, releasing of old negative beliefs with the release of the moon, the full moon. It's about creativity. Keep the keep your creativity going.
flourish and bloom, become this magical fantasy person. You're living in a fantasy here. This is beautiful. We've got the sun setting. This is sunrise, sun setting, cycles. clarifications that we need here. So we have our, our, pra our past, present, future. This is the things unseen and this is your advice. that I can take right now to get to this outcome. This is the outcome. The advice or the outcome. What are the actions I need to take? The sun. Just be joyful, happy, shine your light. Express yourself, scream to the sky, let yourself be heard, ground yourself. Become electricity. And you can get rid of these feelings stuck, these old negative beliefs. Move forward, look to the horizon, have community, become part of something bigger than you, an energy source, the sun. Get your vitamin D. Make sure you stay healthy, feeling good. Is there anything else that you would like us to know? Whoa, about the situation. Okay, well, we have three cards popping out here. I'm gonna go find my other one. Okay. All right, just look to spirit. Feel your emotions, soak in them. It's like taking a salt bath. It's very refreshing and rejuvenating for your body. Immerse yourself in water. Surrender yourself to the universe, to spirit. Go inward, reflect, make your plan. But don't spend too much time alone. It will have a negative effect. You also need to have this connection, but you need to heal. Yeah. Um, you gotta love yourself in order to love others, right? Build your nest. Ground yourself. She's really dirty here. The hard work's over. You can rest. And you just live by your heart, which will connect to all other parts of your life. And 
tie everything together with your heart. Do everything with joy. Surrender yourself to healing going inward. do beyond luminera anything else you would like us to know angels about this current situation this current energy for today we get two endless opportunities and balanced forces One of my favorite cards. And when you live in this light, you're going to have this endless opportunity and these balanced forces come in. You see the same colors here, it's your balanced forces. And you're going to release. All these butterflies and the bubbles, they're going to be set free and eventually those bubbles are going to pop. And these butterflies will be transformed once again. Yeah, this reminds me of like butterflies in your stomach. You know, that feeling of pure love and joy and excitement. get this offering of light that you can then share with others. There's another full moon, not almost like an eclipse. Looks like the moon shadow over the sun Casting that shadow. So release those negative old beliefs and offer something more. Always going to have this kind of yin and yang. You know, the Jesus and the devil on your shoulder telling you what's good or bad, what, what decision to make. What choice did you make? What kind of person do you want to be? Wild Offering Oracle. And we're using the Light Seer's deck here. And Crystal Visions, Tarot, up here. Divine Timing. The Divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before or prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. What's your timing here? It's fast movement, two days. Mm -hmm. And we have aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel for the divine Shak Shakti. Mm -hmm. Filled with joy and energy. And then with those butterflies. You can always transform transform. Doesn't matter what your age is. As long as you're loving, well, as long as you have passion for the things in your life. Okay, 
daily crystal inspiration. All this agony is going to be ending really soon for you. But you're going to have community and joy. So delight. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Throat chakra. What have you been holding back on? What haven't you said? What are these deep wounds here that you're opening up? Talk about them. Get them out. Release them. Old negative beliefs. Bye. The truth will set you free. Wings. Freedom. And then we have Selenite. Clear the clutter. Well, as an interior designer and somebody who lives in a fifth wheel trailer with my two dogs and my husband, I can resonate with that quite clearly. Um, it's, you know, a small space. And even knowing I love my family, my dogs and my husband, uh, I, I am a cancer. I live in my shell. I observe everybody through my shell. And then I come out when I feel safe. And I'm a homebody. And I'm also an interior designer who likes organization. Uh, things to be nice uh, and functional. Easy to use. Um, it's really hard to clear the clutter around here. Just to find a space here to re do my readings was hard enough. It took me a whole day <laughs> just to figure out the situation and the setup. Um, but once you, you clear the clutter out of your physical area, you, you clear the clutter from your mind. So you can get out of this and get more into this and this and this and this and this get rid of this this is the clutter over here but we're getting away from that it's going away clear the clutter get rid of it And I think it's very important as an interior designer, I try to explain this to clients all the time, is that when you have a space that you live in and you spend most of your day and your time in a space that doesn't feel good or feels stagnant to you, or there's items in the room that you don't really like, uh, you're not resonating with, they bring back some sort of a negative condensation or a memory you need to get rid of them. I really believe that physical items can be haunted with these energies. Um, you know, it might not be like, boo, ghost energy, and there's something floating above you and, you know, tickling your toes, but it's still there. It's still giving you that feeling, whatever that feeling may be for you. And you need to organize that space to work for you personally. Um, something that you design for yourself is not going to work for somebody else. Um, they can try to make it work, but it's not designed for them. It's designed specifically for you. And everybody is different. Everybody has their own style, their own way of working, their own way of doing things, their own way of organization. You just got to find what works for you. And in my case, I help you find what works for you. And by doing that, I just ask a lot of questions. How do you live? How do you move around your space? Who's going to be in this space? What are you doing in this space? 
Does it need to be open? Does it need to be closed off? Do you need privacy? Do you want to be part of the crowd? Do you need your healing time to reflect? I am fucking made for this. You were made specifically for these times. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Your mission is to help interpret the messages Earth sends us so we can move forward toward ultimate community. Peace, love, truth, and constructive creativity. We cannot do that if we deny our magic, our powers, and our miracles. Today, see if you can make peace with yourself and shift your mind away from fear and disease and into love and acceptance. Look at yourself in the mirror and say I love you until you cry or laugh. You are loved. You are protected. You are perfect just as you are. You are fucking made for this. I am exploring with life beyond ever before and glowing with eagerness for more. People often misperceive and disconnection from normal social activities as running, hiding, or betraying our family, friends, or community. Yo, that is pure donkey dung. When you disconnect, you trade the vigilant nights out for sexy, sexy knowledge, hunts, and ultimate gatherings. Living for others, for living for yourself. Chasing money for attaining purpose. Mindless dribble for passion explosions. Busyness for intention. And soul extor extortion for soul unification. You are exploding with life beyond ever before and glowing with eagerness for more. Well, that was a mouthful. Not to mention the interruption, but... Um, explore this life with glowing eagerness for more. Sun, get excited. Doesn't matter how old you are, this is going to continue. You were made for this. Okay, and just for fun, so I got this new deck. It's not even a tarot deck, it's Adam Duel. It has to do with the um, periodic table of elements. And I just thought it was really fun and cute. We went to a museum and uh, got these. And I thought I can incorporate them somehow into the tarot reading. So we're going to test it out right now. See what we get. Neo Di Dime Neum. Wow, forgive me. So this is an element that creates magnets, lighters, and goggles. Shine your light. Be a magnet. See the world through a different lens. Look at differently. Be a magnet for your community. Speak your truth. You know, you gotta see it. Like a rosy goggles. You know, um, you drink beer, you got beer goggles on. You know, you, you don't know if that guy or the girl is really all that cute because you're so drunk that it doesn't really matter, right? You're drunk with love and light.
Rare Earth. 60. 6 plus 0. This is a guide by God. 6 is spirituality? No. Uh, wow. It's escaping my brain right now. <clears throat> Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to have to get to my notes on that one. Because um, that has escaped my brain. Because five is changes, seven is spirituality, and six is something. Creativity. <laughs> Creativity. Wow, that was a real roundabout way of getting to the answer. Um, but live in your creativity, enjoy life. Thank you for being here today and exploring with me the energy for today. I hope this, you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. It will help me out to build my channel and to help you out. And I thank you for being here. I thank the angels and ancestors for being here as well and guiding us on this day. Namaste.